Hello, 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 my dear student. In experience two, we will cover mechanical energy. What types of mechanical energy? We have potential energy, which is the kinetic energy of a system is a result of the motion of all of its components that we discuss. A potential energy is the energy associated with the position of an object or the arrangement of a system of objects that exert forces on one another. You can think of potential energy as an object's potential to have kinetic energy. Vocabulary here, a person has a potential if they have an ability to develop a characteristics or a skill in the future. In the same way, a system has potential energy if its components have the ability to move in the future. Different types of potential energy. What are they, Anna? We have gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, electrostatic potential energy, and thermolecular potential energy, and nuclear potential energy. Finally, is the chemical potential energy. All these forms of energy are due to the relative position of an object or stored energy. Look at this big roller coaster here. We will discuss how is it related to our lesson. Next, we'll talk about gravitational potential energy. What is the meaning of gravitational potential energy? Since it has gravity in it, so directly mg, which is force due to gravity. When I talk about potential energy, I have to uh, include the height, which is the distance between or the elevation of the object or change in height. You can name it in many different ways. So potential energy is equal to mgh. Clear? This is one rule that we will discuss in details in our lesson, and we will practice it a lot. Then we have the elastic potential energy, which is the material that makes up an object can also affect the energy of the system. Elastic object can be stretched or compressed and then returned to, the, to their original shape, like the spring. We already discussed the spring force before. We have rubber bands and bungee cords. So this is all about it, which is hot low. Instead of F, we will be using hot low, which is instead of Mg, we will say half Kx squared, or the area here is half Kx squared. F is equal to K and X. So we will discuss it in details in our uh, lessons throughout the week. Next, we use this rule, which is half kx square. Then we will implement it using the different equations and uh, questions. We have the first question here, chart on cart on a spring. when how that differs. We will calculate potential energy and kinetic energy. Then we have another problem for you to solve. Many problems actually, not one problem. As you can see, all of these will be either solved in class or will be assigned as a homework. Electromagnetic potential energy, from the name, it is related to electricity and magnetism that we discussed before. So K, Q1, Q2 over R square. Remember that rule, does it ring a bell? Yes, columns constant or columns law. We already took it in uh, the first semester. So as you have understood, Everything till now, I hope you will understand this lesson thoroughly. If you have any question, don't hesitate to come and ask. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.